Hi, Amy. Hi, Brent. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Looks like the table's set to serve up a helping of Captain Eddie Rickenbacker memorabilia. It is. A lot of people think he is Columbus's most famous German-American, but that's not quite true, is it? That's not quite true. You're right. He was born in Columbus, but he was born uh, to Swiss immigrants. And we think of him as the famous World War I aviator, but uh, he was famous before that with the work he started in Columbus, right? Absolutely. He was a famous race car driver before he became famous for his World War I exploits. He was working as a mechanic, um, but then he got into professional racing and he actually raced in the Indy 500 four times. Um, so even before he got involved in the war effort, people knew about him. What was his, what did he do going into World War I? Did he start as an aviator? He didn't. He actually started as a professional driver for General John Pershing, who was the commander of the American Expeditionary Forces during World War I. So he served as his professional chauffeur before he moved into flight school and eventually commanded the 94th Aero Squadron. And he became the leading aviator, the ace of aces for the for the uh, United States, correct? He did, yes. That was his nickname during World War I, the Ace of Aces. He was the most successful American fighter pilot. He had 26 aerial victories, which means he downed 26 aircrafts, um, which was more than any other American pilot during the war. And uh, some of the, this is all connected to his aviation career in World War I, is that correct? It is, yes. So what we have here, we have a machine gun that came off of a German plane. Um, and then right next to it, we have a compass, also from German aircraft. And then these are an example, they're not from Eddie, but they're an example of what an aviator during World War I would have worn at the time. And like a lot of our World War I collections, they were brought over uh, after the soldiers came back from mm -hmm. conflict. They brought their souvenirs with them. And thankfully, many of those souvenirs were donated to our organization. So they're here for people to view anytime they visit the Ohio History Center. I read that among uh, Eddie's victories were balloons that were used for reconnaissance and observation. Yes, yes, yes. In addition to the the planes that he brought down, he did bring down a few balloons. So he was a very successful pilot. What did he do after the war? Did he come back to Columbus? He did. He came back to Columbus and he became an entrepreneur. Um, he owned uh, several airlines. Eastern Airlines is probably the most notable, the one people are most familiar with. But he wasn't done with his military career after he left World War I. He was back at it during World War II, getting into some of the same success that he got during that first World War. There's a story that people tell about Eddie Rickenbacker where he was, uh, he was involved in a plane crash, stranded at sea for 21 days and he's credited with saving the lives of many men from that airplane crash. They survived on water that was rationed from rain, and uh, they fished with a seagull that they caught. <laughs> and many of the men that uh, survived, they credited Eddie Rickenbacker with, with their being around. Very famous story, they made a movie about him, and Fred McMurray played Eddie Rickenbacker. Oh, I didn't know that. You're too young that. to know Fred McMurray, but <laughs> people my age know Fred McMurray. Yeah. He's pretty famous. You know, Eddie Rickenbacker was really almost like a modern superhero at that time. He was uh, very famous for, you know, the things that he did during the war um, and, uh, and, and otherwise. This has got to be one of the most popular things people could see at uh, OHC, I bet, when they come to see Eddie Rickenbacker's. Stuff. Yes, yes, you know, he's very popular amongst amongst our visitors and, and we have a lot of collections of his which we're very glad to be able to preserve and share with all of our visitors all across Ohio. Um, so it's a great story to tell and we're glad that you're interested. Well, thanks for sharing these, these are terrific. Thank you so much, Brent.